In July 2005, the Music Center, Performing Arts Center of Los Angeles County, presented its Institute for Educators with a grant from the National Endowment for the Arts, the NEA. The Music Center was one of only 12 arts organizations in the country chosen to be funded by the NEA for a new Teacher Institute initiative. For its initial year, the Music Center's program featured the poem The Negro Speaks of Rivers by Langston Hughes as its anchor work of art for in-depth study. The NEA defined an anchor work as a recognized, significant work of art that has sufficient artistic merit and intellectual heft to warrant careful aesthetic examination. The NEA's aim for the institutes was to shift the education paradigm from a mile wide and an inch deep to a mile deep and an inch wide through inquiry into one significant work of art. The Music Center's anchor work poem was a product of a distinct historic and cultural era and a literary masterpiece. The enduring understanding or big idea behind this approach was that an artist can capture the spirit of a particular time and place. An artist can express the aspirations of a people and in so doing serve as a force for cultural change. Over 50 teachers and administrators from a dozen different schools engaged in a creative five-day journey with Langston Hughes's Rivers and ended up not just with an in-depth knowledge of the anchor work, the blues, and the Harlem Renaissance, but a deeper understanding of the human condition and their own creative resources. Guides for this creative journey were two master artists and educators, actor David Prather and musician Chick Streetman. Together they devised a series of theatrical and musical exercises that challenged the teachers to explore their own creativity as they encountered the poetry of Langston Hughes and the seminal art form that inspired him, the blues. Chick Street Man began the first day with a performance to convey the fertile African-American blues tradition. Chick drew upon his own background as he sang about the local rag man, demonstrating the power of oral tradition and storytelling. The rag man is a man that came around collecting rags. A few hours later, having received an introduction to the Harlem Renaissance and the Roaring Twenties, the Jazz Age, the era of the anchor work, teachers began to explore the language and images of the Negro Speaks of Rivers through movement and sound. In a series of graduated steps, teachers went from a simple ensemble exercise exploring the flow of water to a mirror improvisation drawing upon lines from the poem My soul has grown deep as the rivers. to the creation of vocal soundscapes to tableau corresponding to the sequence and chronology of the poem. By the end of the day, teachers had already begun to plumb the depths of the Euphrates, the Congo, the Nile, and the Mississippi of Hughes' anchor work. Teachers had begun their own personal journey through active arts exploration and creativity. They also initiated a process of reflection and application of the anchor work to their own classroom instruction. A key component of the Music Center Institute and the NEA grant required teachers to develop a series of five lessons based on an anchor work of their own choosing. As they began to identify what aspects of the Negro Speaks of River qualified it as a work of artistic merit and intellectual heft, they began to muse over the selection of a work for their own lessons to teach in their classroom in the fall. In breakout groups each day, they posted their thoughts about the nature of an anchor work and a basic working definition emerged that it is an enduring work of art that reflects universal values. Day two focused on the blues. Chick Streetman asked participants to recall a time when they had been told they were not good enough and to dig into their personal histories for material to create a blues song. 
Teachers shared their stories with each other. Individual stories were refined. The group comfort level rose, and by the afternoon, everyone had at least one verse of a 12-bar blues song ready to sing. With Chick lending moral and musical support from the piano, every single teacher without exception, singers and non-singers alike, performed their blues to the laughter and encouragement of the group. A powerful lesson was learned not only about the blues as a musical form, but about the ability of the arts to elicit emotion and foster community. The teachers as a group had taken one small step for the blues, one giant leap for personal risk-taking and group solidarity. <laughs>